Water Smart Irrigation comes in many different forms, but can be described as the practice of applying water in an efficient manner where it's needed, when it's needed, without contributing runoff into storm sewers, drainage ditches, or waterways. Did you know that outdoor water use in Texas, particularly lawn watering, accounts for one-third of residential water use each year? Typically, flower beds and lawns need to be watered no more than twice a week, and if there is adequate rainfall, twice a week might be too much. But people tend to water more than this. A scheduled irrigation system seems like a good option because you can set it and forget it, but often these systems are the culprit of overwatering and runoff problems because they need to be adjusted or turned off during periods of heavy rain, which homeowners frequently forget. There are many ways to get water to plants. The most efficient and productive are regular rains. Hand-held hose watering is a relaxing and pleasant gardening chore when compared to many other garden activities. However, hand watering can waste a lot of water and can be very time consuming for a gardener with a lot of ground to cover. Irrigation systems need to get watered 6 to 12 inches deep into the soil for maximum effect. The best choice for your yard is a drip irrigation or low volume irrigation system. These low volume irrigation systems deliver water directly to plants in an efficient way with little water loss through evaporation and runoff. These systems use less water than traditional irrigation, which saves you money as well as conserves our water resources. If you choose to use sprinklers, they should be directed a minimal distance from the ground and set to disperse water in large droplets rather than a misty spray. This reduces the amount of water lost to evaporation. Remember to water early in the morning or in the evening when temperatures are cooler and less water is lost to evaporation. Watering during the early morning hours also helps to avoid fungus development. And most importantly, remember to keep your irrigation system in good working order. Soaker hoses work well, but are real water guzzlers in our soils. They must be placed fairly close together or be left on for long periods of time to soak a large area. Many times, the soil directly under the hose is soaked with water while the outer area is barely damp. In-ground sprinkler systems use a lot of water. The water is dispersed so rapidly that it often cannot soak in as fast as it is dispersed. In-ground water systems have their place. They are efficient lawn watering systems, but they may or may not be the answer for flowers or vegetable gardens. Rainwater harvesting can reduce the amount of drinking water used for landscape irrigation. You can collect rainwater in a large cistern, tank, or barrel, which can be connected to a low volume irrigation system, or water can be taken directly from a rain barrel to hand water your garden. It is important that we conserve all natural resources, and water is one of the most precious. It is also important that chemicals, fertilizers, and nutrients, even organic products, stay in your yard where they can be used by your lawn and garden. Properly used, low volume irrigation seldom produces a runoff problem. This lessens the burden on our bayous, streams, estuaries, and bays, and keeps our water clean. Be sure to check out watersmart.tamu.edu for more WaterSmart irrigation tips.